would get is just get a bag of salt at the end of the week. Selling. See, because this soul, this is gold. The sun, the sun, sol invictus, solar. S O L A R Solar. This, this soul invictus, the unconquerable soul, this is where all souls come from, these holes. These are wormholes. But they are whole. They lack nothing. And they are holy. They also have halos called auras, which are really Taurus. So this is a Taurus field, and you have this in your torso. Your bottom chakra has four petals. It's red. The top of the torso has 16 petals. It's blue. Red shift, blue shift. Here, my, my energy is blue, as is yours. At the bottom, at the torso, at the perineum, this is red. And the energy is flowing out of the body, earthy, red shift, right turning, centrifugal divergent. Centrifugal divergent, centripetal convergent. Fission, fusion, proton, electron, radiation, gravitation. The ratio of blue shift to white uh, red shift is one to one point six one eight five, otherwise known as phi, the phi ratio, the golden section, the Fibonacci ratio, the golden mean. So this is always red is always bigger than blue. The ratio is disproportionate, and that is how these torus fields are reciprocating processional torus fields which are able to this is an atom this is every form that exists let's have a look at some of these slides shall we and we'll have a look at what you're going to share yep in fact we are looking at yeah ready okay so that's the dna in swarmness there it is. That's a soul. It's the soul of the universe because it's the only form that exists. It's the only form that exists. There's a soul. You see the soul in the middle, that holy hole, a wormhole. There's one as well. Hey, don't worry about the restroom. No? Take it no, okay. it's too late. I was just giving them a little preview so they can come over to take okay. to finish. Yep, sure. Okay, so have a look at this one. <laughs> mm, those little COVID balls. See the spiraling energy around the human being? We are self luminous. Guys, I'm going to start opening the, uh, it's the top of the hour. I feel that I've explained. The basics over here. I'm, I'm going to go a bit deeper, but I want to have some uh, audience participation and make this interactive. Because uh, please keep your questions to to, to the theme. You know, I mean, as timely as possible. Please, guys, because we want to exhaust this. Here's the egg that you are. Here is the egg that our solar system is. Here is the magnetic field. This is how all universes are. They are in these golden eggs. See the Christ at the top? Because Christ is light. It's a Taurus field. You can see a lot going on here. This is the flat earth. Here are the realms below called hell. Here are the heavenly realms up here. And here we have, uh, I think this might be Rumi. There is a Taurus in the sky and a Taurus under the earth who holds in its place with its form. 
And if you can open your third eye, you can see that the majority of them have no knowledge of it. See, so when we have scientists telling us that they don't know exactly how the universe is and where we're flying to at 650 million miles an hour, you can tell that uh, they have opened their third eyes. This torus field here is very, very um, telling because this one shows how there is there is uh, a quadrupole or tetrapole um, energy uh, exchange going on here. You can see two planes of inertia, more or less. It's like as though um, this the pillar. Can you say the energies are changing on there. It seems that this pillar here is like a plane of inertia as well. And then, of course, we know that this plane of inertia goes through here. Changing. They said the screen is frozen. Are you ready to take some colors? Yeah, for sure, brother. Okay. So have a look at this one, folks. This is a really good one. Can I still see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good All right. I'm going to go through some slides while we wait for the first ball. Now look at where red shift and blue shift is coming from in Jesus' heart, folks. Redshift, this is the demiurge, the electrical god, El, Emmanuel, and he shall be named Emmanuel or electricity. And he'll have a girlfriend called Magdalene. Magnetism. Okay, so this electric dude, Jupiter Zeus, Jesus, he's the god of thunderbolts, and those thunderbolts are redshift. And uh, coming from the heart. Okay, here we got um, B. Baby? B. Yeah. Billy. Billy. Okay, let me go to talk to Billy. Billy! Um, I'm on muting. Hello? Loud and clear, sister. Yes, loud and clear. She can't hear me. I don't know what. Is it because I'm muted? Could it be? I don't know. Well, yes, I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. That, that microphone's connected to his Zoom. Maybe so you can hear me now. So can you hear me now? Mm. I don't know. Maybe she, she, she doesn't have um, speakers. Can you speak on that microphone? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, I'll just, just get another call maybe. Okay. Did we check that this works? I don't know what happened with her. All right, guys, so um, it's very, very beneficial to examine these, these roots, these root words. You'll find that in every single uh, language, a similar root like this will appear and have all of these meanings that are interrelated. Yeah. All these words share the same root. You know why? Okay. Okay, Cora, Joanna. Great sister. Lovely, thank you. Yeah, that one's a tough one, sister. I wouldn't know how to answer that. Um, uh, in India, they would put people on a funeral pyre and cremate them. Yeah. And uh, in Egypt, they would um, embalm them 
right? So, so we have two very, very, very contrasting um, styles all around the world. This is not just a, um, this is, it's a very, very contradictory um, science, this the science of the afterlife and um, how to prepare for it. Um, yeah. Well, well, here's my opinion. I mean, I, I haven't learned this, and um, I just my intuition tells me that if you're going to do it as the Indians do, uh, burning every last remnant of the physical body, turning it into dust, I believe that's a sign that you will not return. Your soul will, will never be able to, um, well, not never, but your soul can now be fully liberated from flesh and the carnal desires because that 